those that's the king and king key to the game and now it's time for the crown plaza starting lineup for the st michael's purple knights who come in as we said with a record of 11 and 17 and nate mcclure the Lemoyne Dolphins all time in postseason play, 35 and 49. A line or the midway point between these two schools as St. Michael's is in Colchester, Vermont, around Burlington and Northern. And we are ready to go. St. Michael's wins the tap and we'll be moving from left to right on your screen. Lemoyne starts out in man defensively. They play mostly man. Dolphins get it into the middle of the zone. St. Michael's plays zone exclusively. Bounce on the short corner to Jones. The reverse layup is good. Coming off his first career double-double in his first career start in the nation. Up ahead to Salter, back to Persia. One dribble back to his former IUPUI teammate, Nate McClure, who bangs a three off the right arc. Five Lemoyne, Sutherland double teamed in the corner, out to McClure, ball fakes on a three. Back over to Sutherland, 16-footer good from the right baseline. Luke Sutherland with his first bucket. Wingfield, who's cracked into the top 10 in field goal percentage. He scores there on command and gets fouled. Just sliced through the zone. He gets it from Sutherland. Thought about the three, now feeds Sutherland. Sutherland into the paint. The flip is good from the right side to give Lemoyne the lead back. Sutherland, four points coming off the bench in a rare uh, reserve role. That's for some reason. Well, he's got the ball now on offense, into the corner. Here's a three by McClure for the lead, it's good! His second triple of the game for what? his six points, he leads Lemoyne. Wilson, out to Persia for a triple, off the rim, no good. Rebound, Mascara lays it up and in on the right side. His first points in seven games. Watched by Battle, well defended. Turns, gets it out to Jones, fakes his man, now it takes, takes a step back two! No, it's a three and it's good! He stepped back far enough to make that three and Chris, does he look comfortable today or yes, what? Yes, he does. Persia taps the rebound to McClure. Lemoyne dodges the bullet there. Into the corner, three-pointer by Jones. Bullseye! That was a five-on-three break. They found the open man in the corner again. Team. Yep, Dolphins led by as many as 12. They've trailed by one on a couple of occasions. Running bank shot good by Xavier Wilson, who's got seven. That's a good answer for Lemoyne. 13 to play in the second period. Lemoyne up seven. Salter fakes the three, gets Cruz in the air, now takes the two and makes it. That's a beautiful job schooling his defender. Nine points now for Salter. No good. Jones the rebound. Lemoyne looking to run, but St. Michael's back on defense. Spin move by Jones, and he lost it, but it comes right to Wilson, who gives it to McClure, who's got the reverse layup for the lead. McClure with eight points above his seasonal average. The ball pops free again, and Adam Eaton, or Eric Eaton, wants foul there. Here's a, a layup by McClure. Back-to-back -back layups by Nate McClure. He's the second Dolphin in double figures with ten, and Lemoyne's up four. That I can remember. McClure entry pass to Wilson. Back out. DePersia will size up a three. Bullseye! Lemoyne back on top. DePersia, not known for his three-point prowess, but he does hit big ones in the season opener. That and 10 of 24 from the three-point line. Right side, three-pointer Jones. That's what Lemoyne needed. Derek Jones Jr. with his third three. He's got 11 points. Third Dolphin in double figures. He's 762. DePersia, one-handed pass. McClure for three, and he splashes it through. Nate McClure with 15, his second high total of the season. Been outscored by 14 after the after intermission. Lemoyne has now been outscored in the second halves this year. Three-pointer by Jones is good. He fell down, lucky not to be called. That's good. No one picked him up. A pass that's deflected, saved by DePersia, all the way up to Constant, who slams it in transition to give Lemoyne the lead. He's getting bumped and pushed and falling down. Not that they're fouls, it's just contact. To Persia, looking for someone to pass to, gets it out to Constant. Constant with three seconds to shoot, goes up strong, lays it up, good and a foul! That ties the game, and Constant can put Lemoyne up with a free throw to beat the shot clock on top of everything else. Constant now the fourth Dolphin in double figures with 11. Rebound, battle had it. It's loose on the floor and picked up by Brzezinski. Cruz, his three is blocked by Constant, gets it back. But now he says no. 
He's only got 12 and a half seconds. He should use his timeout. It's too late now. The boy's going to have to do it with defense. St. Michael's has lost four games by one point this year. They've I think won he, two of them. I think he didn't call the timeout because he didn't want St. Mike's to set up a play. Here's Yepto driving. Lost the ball. It's out of bounds off of St. Michael's. And Lemoyne will have it with 5.3 to go. And Kevin Constant again bothering the play. It is up and it is perfect. Clutch free throws for X. X marks the spot, and the Dolphins are up three. Let's see what St. Michael's has up its sleeve. Ball is knocked free, and Salter comes away with it, and the Dolphins are going to pull away and win it. 77-74, they survive and advance. What a scare St. Michael's gave them as the 11 seed. Tribute to them, and boy, what, what a league this is, the Northeast 10 Conference, that an 11 seed can play as well as St. Michael's. Again, a team that's been missing players, with Joel Kabimba out now, and also one of their best players, Kasai Brown, has been hurt. We didn't mention them during the broadcast. They've been shorthanded, and Lemoyne had everything it could handle from the Purple Knights today, but managed to prevail, and they'll advance to play Bentley on Sunday in Waltham in the 3-6 game.